Now, 18 months ago, three-time Olympic gold medalist Pete Reid had just announced his retirement from the sport and returned to a job with the Royal Navy. But in September, Pete suffered a one in a million spinal stroke, which left him paralysed from the chest down. His friend, rower and broadcaster, Sir Matthew Pinsent, went to visit him in hospital for his first interview. Hello, oh, Matt. Hi. Nice to time. see you. Nice to see you. You right? I'm good. So show me around. All right. Where we got to go. go? Let's go. So um, we, we're at the Duke of Cornwall Spinal Treatment Centre in yeah. Salisbury. Hi, Sophie. You all right? Been in here for nearly three weeks now. And as the new boy coming in, you have to you introduce yourself normally as, Hi, I'm Pete Reed. I'm a, I'm a T6C or whatever your condition is. And they'll tell you as well. Here we go. So I walked into hospital in uniform. I had weak legs and a strange gait, but then on the third day in hospital, I had a big stroke in the same area, and that's scary. That's really scary. So I had such big pain to the point where I felt nauseous. I went back into bed, and the pain was extraordinary, like nothing I felt uh, across my chest and across my back. And by this point, Jeannie, my partner, was with me, and it was scary because I was lying down and I could feel the life drain out of my legs. Jeannie was holding my feet as I was, because I asked her to, as I was wiggling my feet up and down, and then slowly they came to a stop. And within about 45 minutes, the pain had gone and I couldn't move my legs. The first thing I did was try to sit up and I couldn't. So I grabbed the sides of the bed to pull myself up and I fell forwards like a rag doll and then fell backwards because I've got no core strength. And that was the first time that oh, that's, that's really scary. And your athlete mentality, does that help at that point? There's nothing, there's nothing more beneficial to me now than my athlete mindset, nothing. My mindset is, although it's scary, you have to stretch yourself, you have to get up. You, for me, I have to have a shave, I have to clean my teeth. And the big goal is how quickly can I get back to that big scary world out there that's more scary now that I'm in a chair, but it shouldn't be. You mentioned Jeannie, it must be so difficult for you together. I think it's hardest for her, but she's stuck by me. She's incredible. And I think everybody in this situation needs someone just like her. So I'm very lucky, but she's handling it brilliantly. And we're, we're a great team. In this situation, I don't know what your gold medal okay. is. And maybe you don't, and maybe it's an unfair question. Rather than a 20 kilometer row on the machine and weights and a rowing session every day, it's get up, morning routine and whilst it's not as physical as before it's still as demanding it's still tiny little baby steps I'm, I'm up for that challenge and if if the aim is walking again rather than a gold medal the target is even bigger than before for me and the motivation is even bigger than before for me and I didn't ever think I'd be able to say that again after London 2012 who thought that I'd have a bigger challenge and more motivation to achieve it